I believe. Good morning. <laughs> no, it's good. The people, the people in the back can't hear. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ryan Oakley. I'm an eighth grader at New Century who enjoyed my three years here. In reality, I enjoyed all 10 years here as a Centurion. <laughs> if you don't already know, my mom has been a teacher at New Century for the last decade. And I've wandered these halls and walked up and down this football field more times than I can count. My blood has always run purple as a Centurion and it will continue to run that color till the day I die. Although I hope for all of us along the way that it might turn a couple different shades of purple. Whether it gets a little bit bluer with the high school down the road or it completely changes color with the college you decide to go to. I hope your journey does not end here. Don't get me wrong, I will always call this place home, but I hope my classmates will do bigger and better things in their lifetime. New Century has been a place where academics and athletics are held to a high standard. Here among this group of eighth grade students, we have earned winning records, won conference championships, and even hung some banners in the gym. We've also had many award-winning artists, public speakers, engineers, and musicians who are sitting here in front of me. I hope our accomplishments grow, and I wish that all of you follow your passions wherever they may lead. I heard a quote once that read, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. I haven't taken this quote seriously before, usually changing the radio station when the countdown ended. Today, however, I realize this quote can still advise many young athletes, artists, scientists, and musicians as we strive to excel. From my personal perspective, the Lord God has prepared us for the future. He's given us all the things we need to be successful. I give all the glory to him for what we have accomplished and for what lies ahead. He'll never fail us and he'll be there when we need a guiding hand. One of the many ways he's helped us in my experience was through the staff here. The staff have given us all the tools we need right through those glass doors to be successful. Ever since I can remember, teachers, janitors, lunch ladies, and the office staff have been the best help for my future. As a little kid, I wandered up and down the school looking for my mom and getting scared when I couldn't find her. Someone would eventually find me and radio her that I had been located. Even though I was technically found, I was never really lost. I've always found my way at New Century, whether it was choosing which friends to hang out with or deciding which sports and clubs to do. I never had a doubt in my mind of which school would be best to better my education and career than right here. The road ahead of the class of 2028 is long and treacherous. Based on our middle school accomplishments, however, we know this road can be conquered. I hope that everyone sitting here in front of me, whether you're the class of 2028 or the class of 1996, will pursue your dreams. If you're an artist, maybe you're trying to finish that masterpiece. Or if you're a basketball player, going on to make the game-winning shot of the state finals. I wish you all the best of luck in whatever you aspire to be. Remember to carry on the Centurion way, being ready, respectful, and responsible throughout your life, and always try to better yourself. I know that God will be there whenever the load gets too heavy, and faith in Him can bring us joy beyond our understanding. Make sure to enjoy your short life here on earth. Take each day as a new opportunity. As the movie character Ferris Bueller once said, <laughs> life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around every once in a while, you can miss it. <laughs>